all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving her back to back updates on how things they be or how things they share left for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast to everyone you know that is inclined to our call all right, my wonderful people, the latest one with the buzz brains at the moment coming straight from the PM BRGIE. He said uh, that the Biafra government in exile, um, BRGIE, Norway, led by the Biafra Sports Minister, uh, Godzie Jonathan, visited and was warmly welcomed by the Norwegian Foreign Affairs Ministry. The killings and the reintegration of known terrorists of, by Nigerian President Tinubu and senators led by Musa was well narrated to the Norway government. Biafra exits from a government that reintegrates no terrorists into its military and police is non-negotiable. Thanks Norway for your warm reception to the Biafra government in exile led by the HE Simon Ewa. So yes, my people, as they be, we they we they go far. The main thing is that uh, every single thing that is happening at the moment is uh, on flight mode, and uh, we are on steady movement back to back to back, and that is the main reason why we are not even going to stand down on anything that we've decided to enter into at the moment. And uh, if you are looking at it, we are going far and wide. We have also we also have uh, the updates on the. Biafra um, um, app that has actually started paying money and uh, the, the, the lowest amount, the minimum amount that can be paid from it is like um, $50. Uh, at this moment, we have uh, gotten to the extent of having this uh, open to all as uh, more developments and more upgrades are being made to it. At the same time, the PM is meeting with uh, people that would help in the growth of everything that concerns or that concerned with rather the um, the Biafra movement and the Biafra upgrade, the disintegration of Nigeria, and we ourselves getting to where we want to be. And uh, we are hoping that everything, all talks that have been taking place ever since would actually be a fruit because it is the fruit that it bears that will actually give us a very long, good um, standing in everything that we are doing. Because uh, even as much as we can do everything we want in this uh, state on our own, but then we need the help of foreign bodies to actually get to where we want to be. Because uh, if there is pressure from a whole lot of foreign bodies and high people and high known people, in the world, Nigeria would not have any choice than to than to give up, and that is what we are trying to gather. That is what uh, we've been trying to gather for a long time. That is what the PM is uh, working um, tirelessly to make sure we get. And one thing is clear: um, with the way we are going at the moment, with the way everything is flowing at the moment, the possibility of we ourselves getting to that extent is there. Yes. With the way everything is working, I am I am here to let you know that everything is is actually going the way we want it to, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get there. The 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 biggest moves that are being made by the PM, BRGIE, every single thing that is being made at the moment concerning our movement is something that uh, we all love to see, and uh, hopefully we will continue in that light. Hopefully everything would continue in that same light and uh, we will actually have that impact that we've always wanted to have and we'll get to where we want to be because uh, getting to that point is one of the most important things we need to be uh, we need to be in at the moment and uh, actually having something to do with ourselves because if you're looking at it at the moment the only thing that can actually work out with us right now is that uh, things work out for our own good and that is that is the truth of the matter we are working towards it we are not stopping we are heading for victory the biafra freedom victory everything that uh, these people do not want us to achieve we are going to achieve it whether by crook or by hook whether by uh, or <laughs> we are going to surely achieve it chuku kike is on our side and that is why there is no giving up we have had people die for the cause. We are not the first people that have started on this cause. It has been a, one of the longest cause ever. And uh, 
we are not thinking too much about it we are all in we are not going to be moved by some naive or some by some things that they bring up and put against us or put against the pm none of these things will be able to move us we are only moved to do the necessary things and to get to where we need to be that do that we can expose we can uh, 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 we can wake up in the morning and expose or talk about anything we want to say because they are in charge of the media. Of course, that is what they will do. That is what they will do. Right now, we are still getting more more talks concerning how they they uh, uh, gone down some the, the the Biafran army or the the, the Nigerian soldiers gone down a, a set of Biafran soldiers. All lies. There are a lot of things you will see on social media today and you will begin to think that maybe this thing is true. Against us, it is 99.9%, if not 100% of those lies, of, of those news, is not true. It's not true. Maybe we look at the latest one that I'm seeing right now that is part of completely that lie. It says, troops destroy IPOP ESN command headquarters. And then there is a picture of uh, a whole lot of ammunition, phones, uh, uh, so many other things that they kept here saying that uh, they were the ones and they said that they cleared in quotes and destroyed an alleged supreme headquarters it's not possible they are not capable of doing that these people are not up to the standard of the Biafra Liberation Army to even find and spot and bring down the whole headquarters of the Biafra Liberation Army it is not possible and that is what and that is what that is what I am here to say None of it is possible. This propaganda has gone on a whole lot of time. And thank God, the PM has come out and declared that this particular talk, this particular issue that he's seeing right now, or this particular talk concerning uh, us not uh, having enough ammunition or whatever it is, is not possible. They are not able to contain us. They cannot contain what we are able to do. They, they are not fit to contain what the Biafra Liberation Army can do. With our alliances at this moment, with our PM currently in Canada for the conference he has promised, he said that will take place, that we are getting prepared for at the moment. With everything that is going on right now, it is not possible. It is not, it's not possible. We are in the French. It is not, it's not possible at all. And so my people, I want to let you know that a whole lot of news you pick out from out there concerning anything concerning the IPOB. IPOB, I want to focus on the, the, the Biafra Liberation Army movement. Anything concerning the Biafran Liberation Army movement, anything concerning uh, the Biafran Army go being gone down. I want to focus on that because a whole lot of news that they give to the public is most of it is fake. But this one that concerns our movement, our movement, I want to let you know that it is completely fake. And we are not, we did not lose, we did not lose 20 men on that day that there was a gunfire. That was a gun battle, rather. We did not lose that amount, and that will always be steadfast. That's the main thing. The Biafran Liberation Army are always ready. We are not to be left. There is no day that the, the, the Biafran Liberation Army is not alert, alerted about anything concerning that is happening around them. So that they would always be ready for when these people, in quotes, Nigerian terrorists, comes up to come and hit or to do whatever it is they want to claim that might be a surprise attack. It's not possible. We cannot be allowed to be spoiled just that way. And so that is... And so, my people, none of these things can be scheduled and can say it will take place at any point in time because we are ever ready to go against these people. We have sectors, we have informations. You, you, you ask about how we know. Some of you wonder, rather, about how we get to know about informations that, uh, that are far off or you say that are far-fetched, but then we have people every single way, every single place. Because we have people that are steadily engaged in making sure that the Biafra movement would move. That there is always a move and a step would make every single day. There are people, a lot of people. We have thousands, if not millions of people ready at any point in time. Around the whole world, giving information whenever they get them. Every single person. There are a lot of people that are involved. If you're not working right now, if you're not, you're not giving information or whatever, then that's on you. But we have people that are giving valid information, resources, every single way. So we know there is always information, key, legit, legal information whenever it comes. And that is how we know the things that are going on in 
wherever we are that concerns the IPO movement, that concerns the Biafra movement, the Biafra, that concerns this movement that would see to our that would see to our our referendum, to our freedom from these people that have refused to let us go. So yes, my people, this is where we've come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications soon. Thank you.